In this video lesson, I will show how to create a language activity in which students need to order the words in a sentence. By designing this type of activities, teachers help students to reinforce their grammar skills and also strengthen their knowledge on sentence structure. So first of all, let's open JClick Author. And as we have done with previous activities, we need to go to File and open the project that we already created. In this case, it is called Model 01. Once that we have opened the project, we go to the Activities tab. and click on the icon situated in the left upper corner. After clicking on the icon from the window that just appeared, we will select the activity called Double Puzzle. Again, we need to give a name to our activity. In this case, I will call it Activity 2. Then we confirm with OK. Now we will click on the Window tab in order to change the visual properties of the game and the main window in which our activity will be displayed. For this activity I want to assign a white color to the entire background for both windows. Now, I'm going to add a picture that I'm planning to use in this activity. This picture will be placed on the main window. In order to do that, I click on the image button and search for it where I previously saved it. And then confirm with OK. However, this is not the way that I want the picture to be displayed. It is displayed so because the tile option is selected. Therefore, I have to deselect it in order to place the picture in the center of the main window, which is the way I want it in the activity. However, once the picture is placed in the center, the game window will not let us see the picture. For that reason, we need to change the position of the game window by altering these values located at the bottom. As you can see, now that I changed the vertical location of the window, we can see the picture. Let's see how it looks in the preview mode because we need to place the game window right below the picture we still need to change the numbers in the location tabs little by little the window is getting to the intended position now it looks better let's move on to the panel tab in order to set the number of rows and columns that we want the panel to have. In this case, I will assign one row and nine columns to the panel. Remember that we can expand the boxes by dragging the corner of the panel. Let's see how it looks. We notice that the distribution of the two panels needs to be changed. When we visualize the activity, there are two panels. In one of the panels, the information will be displayed out of order, while the other panel will be empty. This is where the content of the first panel is taken to put the information in order. 
To change the distribution of the panel, we go to the Layout tab and select the option that places one panel above the other. Let's preview the activity once again. As we can see, the position of the panel still needs to be modified. I will try to fix it now. Now I will go to the panel tab and I'm going to tap the words of the sentence in each one of the boxes. Let's change some other attributes, such as the background color and the border of the boxes. We go to the Style button and click on it. We click on the Background Color button. For this exercise, I want to use blue. Let's check how it looks. It's looking great, but I also want to change the gray color of the second panel, where the words need to be ordered. To do that, I have to click on the Style tab, and change the inactive state color of that panel. I want it white. Let's check again. Now let's try the activity. However, I want to remove this vertical line from the background. In order to do it, I will go to the Window tab. And then I will unmark the Border option from the Game window. If I execute the activity again, we can see that the line does not appear again. To complete this exercise, we just need to write the initial and final messages of the activity. So we go to the Messages tab. and type the messages that we want to be included in the activity. As an initial message, I will type put the words in the correct order. 
I am going to add a color to the message box as well. I'll do the same in the final message box. As a final message, I will type Good job. And I'll change the color as well. Let's try the activity once more. We have finally created our activity. I hope this explanation has been useful to all of you. See you next time.